What's good? It's Chigozi. It's Monday, November 18th, 2019. Matt G would like to see some Zero Hedge news, financial news, and see what's behind it. I don't think I've ever, I've, I think I've been here before, but I haven't like gone here to decode anything. But we can even look at what Wikipedia says at what we're about to look at. We can look at their logo. Zero Hedge or Zero Hedge is described as a markets focused blog that presents both in house analysis and analysis from investment banks, hedge funds, and other investment writers and analysts. Zero Hedge per motto is a bearish is bearish in its investment outlook and analysis often deriving from its adherence to the Austrian School of Economics and Credit Cycles. While often labeled a financial parent bear, Zero Hedge is also seen as a source of cutting-edge news, rumors, and gossip about the financial industry. And owners ABC, okay, the ABC owns them. I don't know if that's the ABC, but I mean, it's, it looks like it's from the Freemasons already. If we get Freemasonry numbers... In their title, that also is more clues. <laughs> Scottish Rite, 57, it equals 33. Zero Hedge equals 33. It equals 93, like Saturn, like propaganda. That's all it is. A bunch of propaganda, probably. I mean, so we've already figured out who it's from. So let's look at it. And I, I do agree with them with the bearish outlook. Yes, I'm, I guess I've always been bearish in the market. It's only a matter of time before this goes down. And I do want to talk about, I did call it this day. I said that there could have been sell off today, but there wasn't. And there wasn't even a big push up. It was just a more sideways action day. And you see how the buying volume, or not buying volume, just the volume in general, but it looks like the overall buying volume is decreasing. So it looks like a sign of not a reversal, but at least a pullback. So maybe we get the pullback starting now. So again, 18th was today. It didn't it didn't go anywhere really. It just went up a little bit. But maybe that could signify the end of this current uptrend right here. And maybe now we can start to descend back down to the SMA. So maybe to, tomorrow we'll see. Or again, it can keep going higher. It can hit highs of 315 tomorrow. Who knows? But again, it's it's zero hedge is Masonic propaganda. Look at this, 1044. Time equals 144, Donald Trump propaganda. Trump says discussed negative rates in unscheduled money meeting with Chair Powell. Jerome Powell, Donald Trump, they're both actors for the government. Negative rates. Negative rates equals 146, 56, Society of Jesus 56, Jesus Christ 146. But there's, there's more there than they're coding there. But it could be some Jesus Christ ritual. Baltimore taxpayers fund lift rides for inner city poor facing food deserts. Maybe we can get the numbers for Baltimore in there. Well, Baltimore 58, like Freemasonry. This is 59, like Freemasonry. 167, the 39th prime. Baltimore 95, the reflection of 59. Food deserts, 90, or 59. You know, Donald Trump propaganda updated at 1045. You know, what's new? Oh, no, this that's that's Baltimore. Excuse me. This is the one, Donald Trump, the 44th person to be president, time 144. Landmark bill would bar state from enforcing federal red flag gun laws. I mean, this guy, they have a guy named Tyler Durden from... Fight Club, he's posting everything here. I mean, you really want to take this seriously, go ahead. If the main guy is Tyler Durden posting all this shit. A bill pre-filed in the Oklahoma Senate. Is this really coming today? Look at this shit. A bill pre-filed in the Oklahoma Senate the same day we had the Oklahoma Walmart. Oh, yes. Yeah, I saw someone uh, tweet about this. Yeah, the Oklahoma passed some bill, and then the same day... They're having, or at least in the same time, they're having now this shooting. And now people are saying, well, then have more reform. It's like, obviously, they want you to say that. It's They create the problem and provide the solution. But this is coming out and with 41 life lesson number. Oklahoma equals 41. 
So yes, you find coded propaganda here too, but it all just follows the same gang narrative. And then what's next? SB 1081, 181, the 40 second prime will be officially introduced and referred to a committee when Oklahoma legislator convenes on February 2nd. 22, the master builder number. Biggest fire loss in Fort Lauderdale history, two mega yachts worth $24 million. Judge with 42 to reflection. And remember, at that time, I was even saying, oh, I'm surprised it's not $21 million. Judge with 21, because they were saying it was they were worth over $20 million on CNN front page. But here the game is $24 million. Judge with 42. So, I mean, they say how it affects the markets and stuff. I'm not sure. 107, the 28th prime, 6 to 7 million, blood sacrifice 67. But it's sometimes even hard to see. Like, I can't, you know what I mean? It's so easy to see how CNN writes their propaganda. This very well might be non Masonic, and they're just, you know, repeating, regurgitating the narrative. This could just be some guy. But I mean, you know, I, I just, I appeal to the whole, like, I mean, yeah, the equals 33. This very well is from them. They're pretty big, but. I'm just trying to try not to be super conclusive right now. Jesus Christ equals 43. Because you know what I'm saying? Like, you and I can start a blog and we can talk about all the mainstream media propaganda and it's always going to be coded because we're talking about the mainstream media propaganda. But you see here at 4.30 on November 16th, Jesus Christ equals 43. Jesuit equals 30, 4.30. Talked about all this stuff yesterday. You can see the video length. They're giving us minute 13 video. You guys seeing this? Oh, no. Oh, it said one. No, it's not. It's one fourteen. I thought it was. I thought it said one one three. It did, but it's one minute 14 video. That's 74 seconds. Masonic 74. Jesus 74. Jewish 74. So, I mean, this just looks like a propaganda out a website. I mean, they're not really saying anything about the markets or how this affects anything. They're not giving us any bearish sentiment on anything. Is this Boeing blowback or anger at lack of support for Aramco? But yeah, Saudi Aramco, they have a, a $1.7 trillion IPO. Just more theatrics now from the big bankers. I can I can barely see anything happening with it. I mean, it, it's worth so much. I I can't even imagine trading it. I mean, how's it ever going to move? Besides, when the federal government steps in, and you know, when that thing actually moves, you know, the governments are going to be involved. The big banks are going to be involved. That's the only way that shit's ever going to move. It's like this, the same reason, the only reason the currency markets move, pretty much. November seventeenth. Think about the oil Jesuit order. Saudis, Arabs, all that same type of narrative. The whole BP oil spill is a judgment order ritual. But do you see this? I mean, this is supposed to be financial news. They're just giving us more propaganda with the Saudi family. Bankers wanted comprehensive reports on oil reserves, something that Aramco has hidden from institutional investors. That's a lie. The institutional investors know all this. Does every institutional investor know this? No. But the ones connected into Freemasonry, who control the money, who manipulate the price, they know the the reports. They have all the comprehensive data you could possibly imagine. And they're just letting you know that that's not true. That they're making you believe that's not true by this string of propping in right there. As a result, numerous Wall Street banks moved to the sidelines, something that has undoubtedly upset Prince Mohammed bin Salam, Salman. Oh, MBS and has likely resulted in a blowback as Saudi airline carriers have just said they will order fewer Boeing planes. This is contrived propaganda between Boeing, MBS. I've, I've shown you several times how, M, how MBS is nothing else than a theatrical actor for the federal government. We might as well see how many days from his birthday was Sunday. The guy is a pawn. I've told you guys so many times, this guy is an actor for the Freemasons. You can just tell. Such an actor. Everything he does is not of his own volition. He doesn't call the shots. He doesn't make the decisions. He's just a puppet. Born August 31st, 
1985. Boeing, him. It's all Boeing's obviously run by the Freemasons. So from his most recent birthday till I'll I'll change the date. I put him today instead. 34, he's 34 right now. From his 34th birthday till Sunday. See how many days was it? 78 days. Jesuit 78. So this is another piece in the Jesuit order ritual. Yesterday was the big Jesuit order day. Society of Jesus equals 187. It's 11, 17. 11 times 17 is 187. 1,117 is the 187 prime number. And now we have MBS, 78 days from his birthday, and this Jesuit order ritual, Jesuit equals 78. As I'm just telling you, this is a theatrical actor for the Jesuit order. You see what he's doing. And Zero Hedge is giving us his propaganda by the numbers. I'm going to close some of this. We're just going to focus on that and close it out. Because that's what I was looking for. You know, propaganda, talking about the markets. Giving us an example of what this shit's about. 945, big oil, gas number. Sun 54 to reflection. Boeing 787. Don't forget in the Jewish cipher, Freemasonry equals 787. Oklahoma equals 170, like sacrifice. No wonder. Freemasonry 787 in the Jewish cipher. Boeing 787. Right here. They let you know again, 787 Dreamliners. When it came time for Saudi airline flying, flying us, what? I don't even know what that is. I don't know if it's a typo. It might not even be a typo. But whatever they're saying, on Monday to order Boeing 787 jets at the air show, the carrier instead chose to exercise its option to purchase 40 Airbus 832-1 report routers. So it has options with plans. Guys, this could be some riddle with the options contracts. I mean, they might be, you know, decoding some kind of options play to come, options manipulation with this line of propaganda. I don't know. Possibly. Coincidence, or is this a blowback for Wall Street Bank's lack of support for the Ramco IPO? They, so do you see this coincidence programming? They're supposed to order some planes. for The, the Saudis are supposed to order some planes. And then Boeing purchased, you know, some Airbuses instead. It's like, I don't fully understand this because I didn't read the whole thing, but you see what they're trying to say, coincidence, or this is a blowback for Wall Street banks, lack of support for the IPO. It's all theater. It's all theater. The Saudi family, the Wall Street banks, they're all run by the Freemasons, the false ones from the Book of Revelation. The Jesuit order. Meanwhile, at an air show, Boeing executives weren't selling many planes, but focused on calming fears amid two 737 MAX crashes that killed 346 people in the last year. It's contrived by, by Boeing. Airbus has so far been the big winner in the, at the air show, already raking in $30 billion worth of new orders as of Monday afternoon. Jesuit equals 30. Very clear ritual from the Catholic Church. Look at these actors. So, Boeing, their stock. I don't even, I forget. Oh, it's BA? Yeah, BA. It should be BS. Remember this? Pump and dump, remember? And then I, I, I will never forget. After the sell off, intraday, it hit lows of 370 and then bounced up and then continued to go lower. And I knew that was going to happen. But where they are, where are they at right now? They don't, I mean, it's pretty sideways. I, I have nothing to say about them. I mean, if they can hold above this SMA and it starts to point up, but it looks too early. It looks like it's just still wants a downtrend. I mean, you can see the slope of this. It looks like it's not going anywhere. <laughs> it looks like it wants to go lower. And after this type of propaganda, that's probably where it's going. So, I mean... I'm not sure what else to say. It is Boeing putting out rituals by the numbers. 
Boeing equals 34. MBS is 34 right now, participating in some Boeing propaganda. In the Jewish cipher equals 113, like Scottish. Remember, Saudi equals 54. <laughs> 304 in the Jewish cipher. Boeing 34. I mean, it's the same. These people are putting this out by the numbers. The Saudi family is a theatrical performance troupe. I've said that countless times. Leftists, Bill Maher, learn to live with each other or there will be blood. He's an agent for the gang. This divisive propaganda. North Korea says, will not offer anything for Trump to brag about. 725, Trump equals 25. I mean, the fact that it's just we have this Tyler, guys, this very well is manufactured propaganda, and they have this Tyler Durden just as some stand in patsy, you know, doesn't even exist. <laughs> just like in the movie, doesn't, doesn't really exist. It was like, oh, I'm not going to spoil the movie, but if, you know, if you've seen it, you know what I'm trying to say. It doesn't really exist. And, I mean, it's very well just all concocted propaganda. I was just giving it the benefit of the doubt, of the doubt earlier because I'm always looking at things from a very fair standpoint. I'm not going to just assume every last thing out there is Masonic propaganda. Because, again, it could be so regurgitating it. But, again, after seeing how it's up to 33, 93, we get Tyler Durden pushing everything here. More Trump propaganda at 725. This is a popular outlet. It's Masonic propaganda by the numbers. You get these two actors right here. I mean, look at this shit. Two pentagrams. Well, not more than, more than two. <laughs> America has a bunch of them in their flag. You know, they can't even contain themselves. And then here you get Donald Trump, Kim Jong-un. These are two theatrical actors for the federal government. Stop believing all this stuff. North Korea says, will not offer anything for Trump to brag about without receiving a return. They don't say, I'm just trying to look when they talk about the markets, though. In case anyone wants to know, but it's not really much here. Negotiations have collapsed since February. This is probably more currency type of shit. I don't know. I don't know how, really what the big bankers do. Because, again, this propaganda comes out, and then the big banks, they take price wherever they want, when they want. That's the key thing, when they want. That's why my recommendation is to not really play the news, especially in, in Forex, because you might be right, but you're going to be whipsawed out by the big bankers before they take the price the way. Unless you have a nice wide stop loss, then you're just going to cut into your reward, and then your risk-reward will just be more fucked up. So... I mean, I'll close it there. We'll look at more of this later. More of what, what's next? So I know, so he's asking for other things. I know Market Watch is coded from the gang. We'll might, we might look at that some other day. All right, peace out.